Hi guys, welcome back to Lens Day Wednesday. As promised last week, something interesting that re that will make the uh, last lens look a little bit bizarre. This is the EF 100mm f2.8 L series macro with a built-in stabilizer. So very much similar to the last one in terms of that it's 100mm focal length and f2.8. This one, however, oh, it's got that red line, the L series, and it's got the stabilizer. Now this lens, when we launched it, was the first time we'd ever done a hybrid stabilizer. Now normally stabilizers built into lens is correct for up down movement by tilting lenses forwards and backwards this one could not only control up down camera shake but it could also control forwards and backwards so when shooting macro work when you're right up close to the subject the tendency to shake in five different axes meant that a traditional stabilizer wasn't good enough and this is the first time we ever built what we call a five axis stabilizer into a lens and it was the first of a new set of stabilizers that was launched in a whole bunch of lenses thereafter as a macro lens, the optical performance L series. So what it says on the box, absolutely astonishing. What an absolute beaut from the edges of the frame to the center, exquisitely sharp. As you can imagine, there's the obviously the stabilizer on off switch. You have a very, very good focus limiter switch, which is really, really cool. You have full range of focus from one end to the other, or you can do a sort of a mid range type of thing for general portraiture or general you know, purpose infinity type of photography. And then you can do super close up. Now this is obviously very, very handy for, for people shooting video. Your focus limiter, if you're just gonna be shooting close up stops the lens from hunting from one end of the scale all the way through to the other as it says on the box l series quality comes with all the benefits of uh, of that not just about the uh, optical quality of the glass but things like that rubber ring the weather sealing comes with a hood as standard in the box really really handy the only thing i did find missing it doesn't have that clip-on ring at the front there for the uh, the ring flash or the twin flash so that is something you are going to have to invest in if you are keen on this and you do have one of those lighting systems you are going to have to get one of those macro light adapters in order for that light to to clip onto the lens I, I found that quite a strange emission from Canon but I know what they did it for was specifically around that that lens hood it's more designed for handheld macro photography not necessarily only studio work hence the five axis stabilizer it's meant to be one of the lenses you would take into the field and rather than having controlled lighting ring flash etc etc you would shoot this handheld more than anything else and to that end what an absolute pleasure the optical quality is really really astonishing the colors as you'd expect from an l series lens was really really good a spherical elements ud elements fluorite etc etc this thing really 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 shines it does come at a price but it's up to you to judge whether the 100 mil 2.8 i spoke about last week or this one is better money for for better value for money for you if you're shooting in the studio most of the time there's really nothing wrong with the standard 100 2.8 USM, but if you're out in the field a hell of a lot and you do a lot of close-ups, uh, flowers, insects, etc., etc., L-Series is the way to go. As always, thanks for watching.